So this is my GPT Win Max. Uh, this is a GPT Win Max from the Indiegogo campaign. I've used this for uh, helping me edit some of those uh, patch videos in the past few months. And what I'm going to show today is a, a keyboard issue with the actual device. So as long as the CPU load stays really low and the fan doesn't kick on and there's no heat, it, every key seems to work normal. The only one that, that's kind of iffy on this is the, the number six key, and sometimes that will trigger multiply. Um, but let's go back. What This is a brand new fresh install of Windows 10 provided by GPD on their site. New drivers, this is the, the latest BIOS. Um, I've, I've tried a bunch of things to, to try to fix this, but um, what happens is that when it's barely being used, only the, the number six key is just a little bit sensitive. So you can kind of hover over it and it'll go, it'll click multiple times. It's more of an annoyance than an actual problem uh, since you're not using the, the six key a lot. And here's notepad showing how it, it can multiple trigger. Um, again, not, not the biggest issue. The, the, the bigger issue happens is that the keyboard completely becomes unusable as soon as there is a load on the CPU and the heat starts going up. So the, the, the keys start triggering automatically, uh, a whole bunch of them, as you'll see on the, the screen here uh, when we run Prime95. And essentially, it's completely unusable. And you can't dock it with something and use an external keyboard because the internal keyboard keeps firing off. So right now, again, it's, it's working fine. I'm going to start up Prime 95 here and let it run. It, it really doesn't take that long. You'll, you'll start to see when the, the keys trigger, you get the, the right arrow, enter, and a few other keys that, that fire off automatically and nonstop until the device cools down again. So really, there is no way to get around this unless... You essentially, uh, well, you unplug the keyboard inside the, the actual keyboard connector, and then you lose the, the control of that. Of the I haven't even tried that because it, it, it's ridiculous that you need to do that. And I'm not even sure. So I've taken off the keycaps as well, and we're waiting for this to, to ramp up. It is I'll try to put the fan noise in here so you can hear it ramping up. But um, really takes less than a couple of minutes of full 100% CPU usage for the keys to start triggering all by themselves. Oh, there we go. That's that's the moment that it starts happening. So I've I've tried a bunch of things to try to fix this. Again, that's I think around two minutes of CPU load to have it start doing this. Taking the keycaps off. I've tried isopropyl alcohol. I've tried blowing anything that might be loose under there, causing this to happen. I've reseated the the keyboard connector on the motherboard. Doesn't do anything. And it's you have to actually to even use one of the keys when it's doing this. You have to hold down one of the keys that's auto firing, and then click another key, and that sort of lets you get out of that in a, a pinch. But it's really unusable when that starts to happen. So I'll, I'll show this as well. I'll stop the the Prime ninety five uh, instance and let it cool down in in a couple of minutes it'll be back to working normally again but i i can't think of anything else that i can try i've uh, i've updated the bios i i don't think there's any other drivers for this i, I wish there was because i i don't really look forward to trying to get take this whole thing apart to get that keyboard memory out to to fix it and uh yeah, if anyone else has any ideas on on ways this can be fixed, that would be truly helpful to me. So, yeah, it just sits here with those keys on. As you can imagine, any program that you open up, you're you're either going to be uh, now. See, it was that quick turning that off while it's and you can see it firing a couple of times there, all on its own. So, yeah, that's. I mean, you can use it without a, a load on the, the system, but the, there's really no point there because you would, it doesn't take much to, to load up that CPU. 
So anyway, if anyone has any ideas, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Any other quick fixes or maybe possibly firmware? We could fix that. Thanks for watching.